start talking about tattoo designs and using the pen tool to create your own original pat, uh, tattoo design, you can base it off of reference images like the one I have here. Um, this is a great way to set up the document. You'll notice when I click on this, I'm not able to move anything. I've set this up as kind of like a reference layer in Illustrator, and I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing. So when we go to Illustrator, I'll just go back to home here. We're gonna say new file, and you can set it up with whatever size. I would say you don't want any side to be any smaller than 1,000 points by 1,000 points. So I have 2,000 by 2,000. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and click Create, and this will make my artboard. Now to get the image in, I actually went and I did a Google search for different uh, skull tattoos. I was just trying to find some ideas and I ended up really liking, I actually kind of like this one here. I may modify it. I kind of like the idea of just doing one triangle, but we'll see kind of how this goes. So I knew I wanted some kind of skull and then a triangle and I may play around with the shading in it too as well. So I actually just right clicked on this. I went to save image as, and then I saved it to my computer. So now when I go into Illustrator, I can go to File and Place. I'm gonna just click once on the image that I want to put in there. And then I'm gonna click on this template checkbox and that's going to basically kind of fade it out for me and then lock it in place. So this is just my reference layer. I'm not going to be exporting this with the final product. Now, when I'm tracing this, it's okay if the size is a little off. So if you do need to zoom in, remember that right now we're working with vectors. So you don't have to worry so much about it being too small or too big. Um, as long as it you know, fits somewhere, hopefully on the artboard, then you'll be just fine. Now I'm gonna focus on this, this one here. So I'm just gonna kind of ignore those other ones. We are mainly pretty much only using the pen tool, um, curvature pen tool and the brush tool if absolutely necessary. And I'll show you why um, you may or may not need the brush tool. For this one, I probably won't need it a whole lot. Maybe if I wanted to add some texture or something. It's, it's really great for things like hair, and that kind of stuff when you have a lot of lines mixed together, almost kind of like you're painting. But for this style that we're doing right now, we're focusing more on like either a tribal or more of what we call a black work style um, tattoo design. We're keeping it mainly a single color. So I'm just gonna be using black right now. Um, once you have your pen tool selected, you're gonna need to check out the fill and the stroke. So again, you know, paying attention to that, and you can change that later, but just making sure you have the right colors selected that you're looking for. If you can't see your properties or anything, you can always go in and also find uh, them underneath window. So if I'm looking for color, for example, I can pull that up. Um, also off to the right, you'll see a lot of times there will be docked, um, you know, windows basically. So if you're looking for something, chances are it's gonna be there. And if it's not there, then you'll just find it underneath a uh, window. So I'm gonna just have my regular properties open since that's pretty much all I really need here. Um, here is where I can also play around with the thickness of the stroke. So if I increase that, you can see how it's increasing the size. So if you need just like a line even, a uh, stroke is really nice for that. So I'll show you what I mean. So for example, if I'm just doing line work, with this, right? Like let's say just a single line, I can play around with the thickness of that. There we go. And you can even play around with the how it ends and everything too, but I'm not gonna get too much into that just because I want to, I mean mainly just focus on the basics at this point, but this would basically count as its, you know, its own shape, right? And I just had to click and make a line. All right, so we're gonna delete that, press that aside, okay. Let's focus on the skull to begin with. So I'm gonna just grab the regular pen tool here. I'm just gonna basically create the outline of the skull. So once again, when you are clicking and using the pen tool, if you're creating a curve, you're going to click and drag with the mouse and then let go and it should create that curve. Um, pay attention to the handles. The handles should be going traveling in the direction that you are um, basically traveling as well. So I'm gonna click there click and hold a little bit there. I don't need it a whole lot. Again, another curve. And since this one's kind of detailed, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. There we go. And then I'm gonna click on that first point I made and continue on. And you'll see it's starting to cover it up with white. So if I need to change that fill, I certainly can. I can basically turn that fill off or 
I can change the opacity. So references are really useful, but I want to encourage you to create your own design too. Like use references for as much as you need to, but don't be afraid to mix it up. I'm just doing the basic outline right now. It's okay if it's not totally perfect. I just kind of want to start somewhere. There we go. Okay. So if you want to pull down the opacity, that will reveal the other things. Um, one thing I'm seeing over here, it's a little um, angular. I kind of want to adjust that a little bit, I think. So I'm going to bring down my opacity a little bit. I'm going to show you how to adjust um, some points. See how it's kind of poking out a little too far. So we're going to grab the direct selection is the white arrow double click and pull that inwards there we go and that will let you move things around now you can also delete things so if you just click on the anchor point and press delete that will delete that whole path that was made by that um, anchor point so you're always able to go back and change things as needed I'm just gonna make a few adjustments kind of go from there all right, next we're going to do the eyes. Grab the pen tool again. Once again, clicking and holding to create those curves. I'm just kind of roughly going over it. Now this one I know for sure I want to be filled with black. So I'm going to change the fill to black. Same thing with the next one. Okay, I'm liking it. Let's move this off to the side so you can see better. I'm going to do the nose now. So your design will need to have a combination of curved and straight lines. So it's not just straight lines. You'll need to also include some curves um, within your work, which mine will have straight lines, especially with the triangle that I'm probably going to put at the top here. All right, let's click on this original shape that we made. We're going to increase the opacity, kind of take a look at what we're working with. This is looking pretty good so far. Um, I might make some adjustments here because for some reason this is just kind of bugging me a little bit. Let's grab this and just move it away a little bit. I just want a little more space. I feel like it's a little too close to that edge. There we go. So it's really a good idea to make those minor changes as you work too. I think that's actually okay. Okay, now I have to decide what else I'm going to include. So there's mainly just these lines and then, you know, these tiny little lines here too. So like I showed you before, you can actually make those with the pen tool. You can also do it with the brush tool. So it's kind of up to you. Like I said, you can use the brush tool for things like that. And I'll kind of quick show you how to do that. So I'm gonna go into my brushes and we're gonna do a new brush. We'll click okay. And then here is where if you're using a drawing tablet, it's useful if you can select it as um, as pressure sensitive. Right now I don't have a drawing tablet plugged in, so we're just gonna bring it down to like, let's do two points. We'll see how thick that is. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. So from here you could take your mouse or drawing tablet or whatever and simply draw in the overall shapes. So that works pretty well. You can also use your curvature pen tool or pen tool. I'll just show you with the curvature pen tool. Do something like, you know, that, right? And I can adjust the thickness of that. The nice thing about that is I can really play around with the thickness. Downside is I think it takes sometimes a little longer. Um, plus side is you can also duplicate it. So there's a lot of, you know, good things and bad things about each, right? So use whatever works for you, but the majority of your design should be created with the uh, pen tool. So pen tool is your focus. Brush tool if you need it. Right now I'm just using the brush a little bit to kind of see. I'm just going to kind of simplify some of these lines. because I don't need as many as I'm seeing here. I'm just kind of do a couple around the eyes. Make some up. <laughs> a point there. All right. 
Now, once again, I'm going to go back to my regular selection tool, grab that background and bring it up. And then I'm going to zoom out and kind of see how it's looking. I'm actually really liking it. The cool thing too now is I can actually click and drag around this whole thing and move it off. And now I can see the entire design that I've already done. Like that's pretty impressive for what, not even five minutes of work. All right. So from here, I know I want some kind of triangle design. I'm actually going to probably move this back. We'll just do control Z to move that back. There we go. Um, so I'm going to do a triangle. I don't want the diamond. I think I'm going to try and I'm, I'm going to, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, I'm going to right click on this and we can play around with the polygon. Let's see if I can pull that up. Go to window and find my options here. If I can find it. Whoops. Or my shapes. Let's see if I can find it. I think it might be over here. Let me see if I can find it. Whoops. All right, they moved it on me. So I'm gonna click on the polygon tool here. We're gonna click there. I'm gonna type in three, click okay for sides. And then it just made me an equilateral triangle, which is very handy. Actually almost fits completely right there too, which is great. Okay, now you'll run into this occasionally. Whoop, there we go. Um, obviously I want the triangle behind everything else. So I'm gonna right click on this and we're gonna choose arrange, send to back. That looks pretty good. I'm going to click and drag again over everything. It's only going to select what I've drawn and that will move it around. Now I can kind of take a look at this and think like, hmm, do I want this? I kind of want like a thicker edge, I think, or maybe kind of how it was here where it's got like the black interior and then a white exterior. So I'm actually going to duplicate this, uh, this triangle. We'll do control C, control V, and then I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to hold shift so it keeps the same ratio, but this one or sorry this one we're gonna fill back to my properties here i should really just dock this back over here there we go all right so i'm going to set the color fill to black and this one will keep white again i'm going to have to do uh move this over right click range send to back cool we're getting somewhere that's where I kind of have to move it around, blend it together here. So I actually kind of like that. I might make some adjustments. Let's pull this down, do shift and drag. Might move that around and the pink lines are going to help you with lining everything up. It's actually not too bad. Now you're gonna find issues, especially with layers. Um, all of this is on one layer basically right now. And you can see the template layer below it, um, which is locked. So something that you may wanna consider going forward is when you do, if you do have like a complicated image, you have like backgrounds and things like that, it's not a bad idea to put that on a new layer. So I'll just quick kind of show you how I can separate these out. So layer three, I'm gonna keep my skull, I think, actually no, I'm gonna do the, the triangle. So I'm gonna click on the black triangle and the white triangle, I'm gonna do control C. And then on layer three, I'm gonna do control V. So it's gonna look kind of weird at first, but I promise it'll be fine. I'm gonna click on that old one and delete it. And now these new triangles, I can, whoops, don't select that by accident. Click both of those and shift and click basically to make, to grab both of them. And then I'm gonna drag this layer below. So now I have my skull on one layer and my triangle on the other, and that's gonna let me kind of play around with the background. I was kind of imagining maybe something like that. I don't know where it's right on the edge. Kind of like the idea of it popping up on the left hand side too. 
you can kind of play around with that. And then if I go back to um, the, the face so I can lock that, let's say I'm happy with the triangle, I can lock that in place. And then when I go and click and drag, I can just select the skull. The other cool part about this is I can actually hold shift and I can resize this. It looks like I missed some spots there, but I can resize things as well, which is also uh, very handy. So just something to keep in mind. There we go. I think right about there or a little higher. We'll just say I'm done. <laughs> I, I would definitely spend some more time on this, but this gives you an idea of kind of what I'm expecting. So I use the pen tool. It's got straight lines. It's got um, curved lines. I use the brush tool for a few things and that's basically it. So from here, I can go to file export and then export as. I'm going to export it as a PNG. We'll call it tattoo design. Oh, wait a minute. My bad. <laughs> Let's go ahead and click and drag and select all of this once I have my layer unlocked. There we go. I'm not selecting the template layer. I'm going to do file export selection. My apologies. Um, you're going to make sure it's a PNG, which it should be. You don't have to really worry about any of that. You might may want to choose uh, downloads as your folder. Click export asset. And it will be in the, the folder most likely labeled PNG. So when I click on this, you'll be able to see my tattoo artwork, my design that I came up with. And it's a PNG, so it's got a transparent background. I actually really like it. And then you're going to upload that to Google Classroom and explain the meaning behind it as a comment on Google Classroom. And that's basically it. That's your tattoo design assignment using mainly the paint pen tool, brush tool, um, lots of tools in Illustrator, but just kind of getting used to more of the layout and arranging things. And I got to fix this line because it's already bothering me, but that's okay. Um, it's a great way to kind of hone your skills on using the pen tool as well.